Hey friends and neighbors, this is Robert here at Daybird Aviaries. I've got something to show you. I hope I'm not going to get in trouble with this with, with YouTube. Uh, one of my sons said I probably would, that it would be controversial and that it would be against YouTube standards. But I'm going to show it anyhow. Now there's nothing controversial about this. This is just a standard everyday run-of-the-mill white leg and egg. Now she is free range out in the bird yard. So she's eating bugs and all kinds of nice stuff. But these are the same kind of white eggs that you would buy at the grocery store. This is a medium to large size egg. Nothing, nothing at all abnormal about this in any way. My table apparently is unlevel because it's rolling around. I got a kitty cat right there on the table. Um, but here's what I want to show you. Let's do a size comparison. Look at the difference in this big old giant egg here. Now, this is also a white legern egg. It is huge. It is heavy. It is bigger than jumbo size. Now, Jeremiah brought it into the house. It's one of his normal chores every day to gather eggs and bring it into the house. But look, here's the controversial part. It's bloody. He said that had to hurt. And I think he's right. I think that's probably a double yolk. It's huge. It's big. I know that's not really that controversial, but sometimes things happen. And you, if you're raising chickens, you have to be aware that your eggs are not all going to be pristine and normal. And that sometimes they're going to be yucky. Now, this was made, gathered from a nice, clean, straw-filled nest box. But sometimes things happen inside the, the hen's reproductive system. And weird things happen so you, you can't be grossed out when when this occurs you have to you have to expect the abnormal I'm trying to keep it from rolling but it's just not going to there we go you have to expect the abnormal and be on the lookout for things that don't always make sense now I have went out and I have looked at the the bottom side of all of the hens and none of them are bleeding so I don't think that's anything to be concerned with it's just a really really big egg and sometimes just like with the mammal giving birth sometimes there's blood and guts and gore with no guts but blood and yucky stuff involved um, what happens with grocery store eggs is that any egg that doesn't make the cut to be sold commercially in the refrigerated section of your grocery store, with, you know, there by the canned biscuits, between the canned biscuits and the butter and the milk, any egg that doesn't make the cup, those aren't just tossed away. Those are used in processed foods. Those are mechanically cracked open in giant conveyor belt systems, and those eggs are combined with one another, and they are used in things like the liquid egg products that you buy that I think is just absolutely disgusting. And they're used uh, in restaurant business. So uh, don't think that when you buy those products from the grocery store that those eggs started out as pristine, beautiful eggs. Those are the ones that were odd-shaped or had spots on them or were too big or too small or for whatever reason just didn't make the cut. So this is what you expect, what you think you're getting when you have chickens, that all your eggs are just going to be beautiful and pristine and all the same size and same color and same shade. But in reality, more often than not, you're going to find some oddball things that are just kind of yucky and you're not sure what to do with. But I'll tell you what to do with it. You just wash that off with some warmish water I almost said color I don't know why I did that you just wash that off with some warm water and go ahead and eat it you can't be too grossed out by things not if you consider yourself a farmer so just wanted to let y'all know that odd things happen and like Jeremiah said ouch I think that hurt y'all have a wonderful day be sure if you haven't already check out our other videos Share our favorite videos with whatever social media platform you're most comfortable with. Facebook works really good for me. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. 
Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.